I'd like to ask you, if I may, about the equipment used on oil rigs. I understand that the owners are now looking for so-called fit-and-forget equipment. Is this really possible in the offshore arena? It, it has to be. It's most important. The, uh, the operating costs of this equipment are so high and the environments in which they operate are, are fairly difficult for them and they can't afford um, to regularly have to take products out for maintenance and so they're now looking for products particularly um, on, on the top of the rigs that uh, are, are there for 30 or 35 years without any particular corrosion problems and so it's a, it's a case of necessity rather than anything else and the, uh, the alloys have been produced in order to do that which we're happy to supply. Uh, so what kind of alloys are used then in the offshore area? Predominantly from the instrumentation tubing side that we provide um, they will be 904Ls and 6 Molly, often called uh, 254 SMO as well those are the predominant grades and a certain amount of, of stainless steel but much less these days. Now I understand you're ramping up your activities in the Middle East so obviously there's no uh, or little offshore activity here so where are your materials being used? Well, there is a limited amount of offshore activity up in the north of the Gulf, um, but also the, um, the environment in, on the onshore wells here as well are, are starting to become increasingly sour, um, and they're finding that they, they need to have uh, a higher level of, of equipment uh, and corrosion resistance associated with those as well. So it, it's, it's a double-edged sword. Final question. Your company's under new ownership. Is this now good or bad news for you and your customers? Uh, this, is, this is excellent news. Uh, we've been taken over by a, a, a group that has plenty of finance behind it. It's very enthusiastic about its purchase of fine tubes and the opportunities uh, for investment and development of fine tubes are very, very strong and it's a very good move and very positive move for fine tubes.